Hello, good morning. Welcome back to the fish locker out on the boat. Out on the boat with my best yeah. boy. What are we doing today, James? Squidding, octopusing, and cuttlefishing. We are fishing for squid, cuttlefish, and octopus. Oh, we might actually have one right now, look. Yeah. Hmm. What we're doing right now is uh, I've set us a little bit of a drift while I sort I'll <clears throat> while I sort all the rigs out. Now I might we might just have a quick run off to a reef and have a quick drift with some lures and see if we can't pick up an early morning bass. And then as the tide slackens off, we will fish for cuttlefish, octopus, and squid. As usual, I'll explain all the rods, the rigs, the tactics, everything as we are doing it. Just wish us luck. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. We have got very small tides but we are in the middle of the push. Tides, they don't flow at the same rate all the way through the tide. They start off running slow, then they run fast, then they run slow again. So at the fastest run of the tide, we will fish with lures. So we'll do this for probably about three quarters of an hour to an hour. And then we'll go and find somewhere and we will fish for cuttlefish, octopus and squid. We're all the way at the bottom and then jig up. That's what you need to do. Back to the red, no. Stand up, walk backwards, walk backwards, walk backwards, keep walking backwards. That's good, Matt. Well done. I knew it was going to be me that good fish. Well done, James. You knew it was Nailed it. Also, right, you hold this. a ginormous. This is a ginormous one. Right, you hold that. This guy is definitely going to be my team. Definitely gonna be messy, Dad. I do love that. Thing. There you go. Right, you know what you're doing? Get back after it. Well, James and I were holding bets to who would catch the first fish. I thought it'd be James. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna flick back out on the side. Fish you've got a bottle. Fish! I think you've got a bottle fish. Right, take the time. No, well done. Maybe it's a I don't know, but you've got a big, whatever it is, it's big, isn't it? I think it's a big yep. Take your time with it, take your time with it. Yeah, I think we just need to concentrate on winding it in. What is it? <laughs> what did I say? What did I say it was going to be? Uh, I, I said it was going to be a cuttlefish, I didn't I? I caught my flipping glass cuttlefish. Yes. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just glasses it straight. Yep, yeah, James's first cuttlefish. Oh. On a spinner. And also, the first cuttlefish of the day. I got yeah. the first macro of the day, now the first the first mackerel of the day, first cuttlefish of the day, you were absolutely nailing it. Let me get hold of your rod and get hold of your spinner. Go on, lift your rod up. Control it. You don't get any hooks in you. Well done. Yeah. Beautiful cuttlefish. This is one of the targets of the day. This is a cuttlefish. And now I they are they are in my cuttlefish much. You are wearing your cuttlefish jumper, aren't you? No, t-shirt. T-shirt, right. Just give me a second to deal with this because I don't want you to bite me. We will talk more about this in a minute, but inside of all these tentacles, in there, is a beak. And it will bite you with it. You see how it's changed colour to a pale colour now? And it was dark when we brought it up. Thinking. Not yet. Give it a walkie. Right, cast back out, do it all again. I can't believe I just caught that. Well done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. There you go, it's not oh God, it's well done. You're going to get that spinner off its side before you have my eye out with it, please. Good lad. <laughs> yeah. Target achieved. Yeah, we weren't planning on catching a cuttlefish out here on the lures. We were hoping to catch a bass or a pollock out here. 
But yeah, James has managed the first cuttlefish of the day. We are drifting at three quarters of a knot. And as out, there's very little tide. So all we're doing is we're dropping the lures right to the bottom and then bouncing around and bringing them back up. James picked that cuttlefish up. Yep, the birds know, don't they? Yep. Oh, see that? Yep. Pop us there, just jumping in front of the boat. You don't see it? Oh, yeah. Can you hear him? Oh dolphins. yeah, they're going mad, aren't they? And also the dolphins tonight. Yeah, and the dolphins. And the dolphins. Right, are you at the bottom yet? You are. Come on. Right, let me see where you're off the bottom. Wind and bounce, wind and bounce, come on, you know the score. Yes! Whoa, whoa, drop it down, drop it down, you've lost it. Mate. Good lad. A bass, that is a lovely bass. A lovely big bass. Oh my God. Look at that. That's what we're after. <laughs> There's that lure in its mouth there, look. Cast up like that, let it sink, bounce wide, bounce wide, bounce wide. Yeah, yep. good man. Let it sink. Porpoise around in there. Oh, after a fish. Wind your, wind yours in, James. Right, right bounce. Let a little bit more line off. I'm gonna try. Try bringing yours in now. You might have a fish down there as well. Around my line. Another cast. What do you think this one's going to be? I think it's going to be another bass. Oh, that is a lovely bass. That is a stunner. That is my ideal, perfect, absolutely perfect size. Look at that. Right, 
they not net you. Bass are covered in spines. They're covered in spikes. So you do need to be quite careful when you're handling them. Now this one. There look. Spines up here, spines on there, spines there, spines here. Spines everywhere. Minimum landing size is 42 centimeters. This one here is going to be in the 50s. This is perfect. And there's the lure look. You sir are coming home with us. Sink a bit. I think you should. I think you'll be able to catch a bass now. Mine was just a little fish crazy eel. Hello, watch. I've cast it out. I've let it sink a bit. All I'll do is give it a little bounce like that. Right. It needs to be a flick. It can't just be a, a lift. Needs to be a flick. Okay. You want to explain what we did there? What did we do? We were fishing so, over there, didn't yeah. we? And what did we see? We saw loads of porpoises. We all we saw. What did we see in the air? We see. We saw loads of birds. Loads of seagulls were like flying round all in one area, yeah. weren't they? They're all circling round in one area. Yeah. And underneath them, there was a lot of dolphins and porpoises. Now what happens there is bass and dolphins and porpoise all work together and they corral like little pilchards and little white bait and little sand eels up to the yep. surface don't they? So we knew when we could see them birds yep. that there was going to be fish there. Yeah. So we drove straight over and straight away didn't we? Yeah. Straight into bass. Yeah. Perfect. Now the birds have died down. Right, where are the birds now? So where are we going now? Let's go! Right, we have found the birds again, haven't we, Jim? Yeah. I've we're only allowed to take two bass each. I've got my two bass. James is going to get one now. Right, look. First of all, you need to get the slack line in, look like I showed you. And then just do a. And then wait. And then a little bit of one of them. And then do a. Right. Oh, oh, go on. Wind, wind, wind. Lift it up. You've got one. Have you got one? Lift it up. Is that a fish? The fish came off. The fish came off, alright. It's so, alright, no, no, stay as you are. Wind the, wind the handle. Right, now do a bounce. Right, it feels like you've still got one on to me. Looks like you've yep. still got a fish on to me. Do it properly. Strapping hard, is he? Yeah. Well, lift him up. Right. Go on, keep going, keep going. Lift the rod up. There you go. Fast. Oh, Careful, though, because that dolphin's coming. Well done, James. Right. We can with that one afterwards. Let's have a look at this one. Making sure we hadn't got it stuck on the bottom. See them, them porpoises chasing in off the office there? Yeah. That was close, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to give you a big cast and then we'll have a look at that fish. Oh. James is 
first bass of the day. And it is a lovely little bass. I don't know, James, actually, if yours is big enough to keep. They've got to be 42 centimetres. This one might just might just be under. But that is a Bell Rock Lures little mackerel. And all I've done was I just rigged it. It comes with a cyst, comes with like a single. And I've put a treble on the bottom. Right. Oh, that's a fish, James. Come on. Oh, good luck. Whoa, 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 take your time on it. Lift it up. <laughs> Madness. Good lad, James. Right, keep fighting it hard. Looks like a good fish, that. Come on, keep going, keep going. You're doing a real good job. Leave the rod down, you need to keep the rod up. You need to keep the rod up like that, look. Right, right? Good man. Come on this side. Follow it round, you know what you're doing. Right, when it wants to fight, let it fight. When you can bring line in, bring line in, come on. Good man. You got, you got oh, Polly! <laughs> well done! That's good! Walk back, walk back. That's a small log, Polly. Yeah, well done. James has had a Pollock as well. That was a lure. Right, Pollock. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> we'll practice that, don't worry. Right, Just get another one. Right, that fish, that bass of yours, is actually big enough. What? That bass that James has caught there is a legal sized bass. 47 centimetres. Yeah, so James has caught a landable bass as well. There you go. Just followed the birds, didn't we? Just followed the birds. Yeah. So you cast like that, look. Just let it sink for a bit. Wow. Yeah, those, those larger bass that I caught were, one was 57 and one was 58 centimetres. You're not letting it sink. Right. That's what I've caught. Good old fish. This lure here has been cuttle fished. See them bite marks? Like triangular bite marks, look. That's a beak. That's a beak from a cuttle fish. There you go. Oh, well done. Good lad. Right, keep at it. Right, don't go mad. Walk it round. There you go, walk it round. There you go, perfect. Well done. Good man. Doing a good job. Oh, a chunky ballad. 
Right. Boom, drop the line by the red bit. Drop it round your hands. Lift him above. Good man. <laughs> James, he's got a nice balling rest. Goldfish, actually good fish of mine. Yeah, you've caught the most species as well. Yes. yes. Is that there you go. Is that rest to keeper then? Sorry? Is that rest to keeper? No, we don't keep any of the rest. Now for anybody who's curious, I do believe in the dispatching and bleeding of fish. So what I first did with those two bass when I caught them is I put them in the live bait tank to let them calm down. Get a bit more oxygenated water through their gills and it lets them chill out. Gets rid of any, any lactic acid or anything like that and then I dispatch and bleed them. I'm not going to show you that on camera but anybody who wants to know how to do that, Google Ike Jimmy or Ike Jimmy. James and I are going to do a couple of drifts for a cuttle and an octopus here on the sand. Cuttlefish live on the seabed. What we have got here is we're just using normal squid jigs but dragging them right down by the seabed. Octopus live in the seabed. You're not going to catch octopus up in the water. Squid you'll catch all the way through the water column, all the way to the surface sometimes. Cool fish, they will come off the bottom a bit for a bait. Octopus are tight on the bottom. I am trying something a little bit new. I have put a camera down there with my rig. Hopefully, this will be this will bring some good footage to be able to show you. <laughs> Cuttlefish, fish, octopus, squid interacting and attacking the lures. I hope it's worked. It might not have worked at all, in which case it won't even be in you, won't even see this. But if it has, I'll put it in here now. This is my first attempt rigging a camera like this. Let's just say lessons were learnt. Not only about the camera, but also the habits of cuttlefish. Immediately we had some interest. I was busy sounding out where the seabed was, as the camera had made the rig rather numb and bulky. So quickly did we have a cuttlefish attack the lures, that I didn't even realise that we had hooked this little one. Back to the seabed, and the same again. Almost instantly the lures were attacked by a cuttlefish. I think the colour changes as these cuttlefish interact and attack the lures is just fascinating. Now I did think I had a bite here, but the camera was making the rig very numb, so again another lost cuttlefish. Better luck next time. What's that? 3-0 to the cuttlefish? As well as a cuttlefish to the far right, this shows a larger one hiding camouflaged in the seabed. It wasn't long before she was up and after it. Again, because this was a small cuttlefish, and it didn't try to swim away, coupled with the loss of sensitivity of having the camera on the rig, I didn't even know this guy was on. Fascinating, isn't it? How they stalk in for an attack. Now I know there's one there. When you are reeling them in, you do have to be quite gentle. You see here as I wind it to the boat how the cuttlefish lunges away and eventually breaks free of the lure. And I've lost it. I'm not having much luck. What's that? 5 nil. Fortunately for me, <laughs> there are stacks of them down there. The colour changes they go through are spectacular. I could watch these all day. And because it tried to swim away, I registered a bite and knew to wind it in. Yep, 
landing one out of possibly ten. Not a very good average there, John. This time I hadn't even got near to the seabed before a cuttlefish was closing in for the attack. That colour change as the attack is incredible. That rapid colour change is due to the cells in their bodies called chromatophores, allowing them to perform such mesmerising colour displays. Another one that got away. It's a good job that this camera works because it's absolutely killing my fishing. This was really interesting. As we drift over the merl beds, not only do the lures attract two cuddles, but also two streaked gurnards have a good old go at them. Aggressive, aren't they? Cuddle wins out in the end though. Or should I say, I win out in the end. Two out of fifteen. <laughs> Great average. Yes, it did bite me. This shows really well how they will stalk a bait over a good distance of ground. There is a little bit too much chop to be able to do this well. But James, I was just learning anyway. Yeah, there's a little bit too much chop. Like I say, I am going to try and find us somewhere a little bit more sheltered. We have done three different drifts. One over the reef, one over a little bit of like broken, broken sand and rock, and one right over the clean. We're just drifting too fast. Just drifting far too fast. We're drifting at 1.3 knots. We want to be drifting at like 0 0.3 knots. On this rod, we've got two lures dragging down on the bottom behind the leg. On the one behind James, we've got one single lure suspended a couple of feet off. And on this, got like a two hook pattern to rig it's going to be bouncing up and down the only problem now is because the winds picked up and I mean I don't know if you've seen it the winds picked right up and the area out there on that reef well you can see how sloppy it is in here now the area right out there on that reef is not not nice fishing we just want one more don't we yeah. Just a cuddle, squid or an octopus, doesn't matter Rich. Not greedy, we'll just take one more please. Wind's pushing us along here at 1.7 knots. And like I said, it's still very sloppy. But we've got some filleting to be doing, haven't we James? Yes, we need to do that. Come on then. Yep. James is dying to show you his cuttlefish merch. This is... <laughs> this is a piece of clothing that's available from our T-Mill store. It's tagged into the description of the video. But, oh, that is it there, look. Life jacket back on. Yep. <laughs> the cuttlefish fishing is going to have to wait until another day when there is less wind. Yep. Right. And more of octopus and squid. Yep. Let's go. Yep. James and I have gutted and scaled the bass. What that means there is I've taken the back of my knife and I've rubbed up, taken all the scales off, and I've opened up the belly cavity and taken all the goods out. Now, I don't even see it is pretty sloppy still in here, and we are right tight and short. The wind has really picked up, so I'm glad we came in when we did. I'm going to do the filleting when we get ashore. 
<laughs> just because it's easier. I'm not going to lark about now all slopping about the place and cut myself with a fillet knife just for saving 10 minutes when I can get in. Yeah, we'll do the fillet when we get in there, James. Yeah. I was sent this knife by a subscriber who makes knives. This is Jay Nolan. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fillets off all the bass and these cuttlefish can be taken home whole. For anybody who's interested in like a slowed down, blow by blow version of filleting, we do have a filleting video, which I'll tag into the description of here. Missed a few skills. Missed a few skills, James. You're watching James, are you going to do the next one? Let's do the mackerel fillet like I did. You want to do the mackerel fillet? Yeah, I want to do the mackerel. Okay. Come on, last little tiny bit. There we go. It's not bad. So we can make the treats, aren't we? Yeah. It's got some treats, so. See, look, by doing it that way, you only lose a little tiny bit between the ribs. Look at that fish, James. Well done. It was way bigger than the Vancouver one, man. Was it? Yeah. There we are. All scaled, filleted, and reboned. And James even filleted his own mackerel. Well done, James. <laughs> so we've got tea there for well, yep. for a week now. One, two, three. Well four, done. Five, six. Seven, You're not leave me hanging. Nine. Well done. <laughs> This drift was over a little piece of rough ground. You see plenty of wrasse, even a bass. This male cuckoo wrasse taking a real liking to the lures. And no session would be complete without a dogfish. Oh, Nicole. I hope you enjoyed joining us. I hope you found it interesting. All the very best. See you later. Bye.